Buenos dias, good afternoon, good evening guys, wherever you are on this beautiful world, whenever you're watching this YouTube video, welcome to the Bitcoin family YouTube channel for the newcomers. My name is Didi Tehutu. Yes, my head is in between two palm trees and I have this amazing view over there of Playa del Carmen Sea in Mexico. Not for long because we are flying somewhere else very soon guys. In today's very short TA video, I'm going to show you what I think is going to happen. Yes, I've seen the videos as well. We are going to 17k, to 10k, to 0 with Bitcoin. I really don't believe that, but I believe something else and that is what I'm going to share in this video. So please watch the video till the end, enjoy it to the fullest, I will try to keep it short but powerful. Damn. This is the first chart we are going to look at. This is the one hour chart in Bitcoin. In my opinion, you know, we can be forming many patterns, guys. This could be a pattern, you know, we could be, um, like me, let me draw this. We could be going from up the top to the bottom and to the top and to the bottom and maybe reverse now again to there and there. This could all be possible, break out or break down. It could be possible. It could also happen, guys, that we break down over here and then we fall to this red line and then again try to go up these are all possibilities in bitcoin welcome to bitcoin it's a volatile asset we don't know how the market moves and there is a solution for this but i will talk about that later but this is the one hour chart if i would switch to the four hour chart i would show share show you how that would look look it looks the same we are moving in a pattern and we don't know exactly what pattern it is but there will be a moment that we choose a direction because this huge green area of support over there, if that stays support, we will be going up again. If we break that support, we will be going down to that level of 30k and maybe form a double bottom at 30k. There is also a possibility, like all the other YouTubers say, that we can fall to 17k. All possible in Bitcoin. I don't believe it yet. I don't even care about it because I trade what I see. I trade the confirmations. But about that a little bit more later, guys. Let's jump, bam, into this one. Here, this chart, I believe this chart is freaking you out when you see this chart. Because look at it. You know, you, you, you're you like, what? We went up hugely and then we were coming down and down and we break that green line. We even go into the red line or down there. And then that is the moment that you're thinking over here as well, this green line, the 50 MA, this is a day chart, by the way, is coming close to the 200 MA. When the 50 MA, the green line, crosses that red line, that is a death cross. A death cross means the start of the bear market. So if you look at this, you freak out. If you zoom out, that's what I'm going to do now for you guys. I'm going to zoom out, zoom out, zoom out. Then you can see that that move that was 26th of May, uh, June in 2016, and look what happened after that freaking out move, after that nose dive of the green line towards that red line. That is a nose dive. We are going to almost form a bearish cross. We didn't form the bearish cross in 2016, as we all know, because after that, we saw that huge bull run. That is how you zoom out. You freak out if you zoom in on that chart. And if you zoom out, we just have left over this small, small, very small area before the huge peak in 2017. And why am I sharing this with you guys? Because the bearish class cross is again coming near. We are now here. Look, again, you could be freaking out on this dip, like I just showed you before, and we could be freaking out that this green line is making this nose dive all the way to the red line, which would be a bearish cross. And yes, in history, here you can see it, the gray line is a bearish cross, we go down bearish cross we go down if you look back in all the bull markets here the bearish cross this is 2017 that was the start of the bear market in 2014 when we had the bearish cross it was the start of the bear market so that bearish cross the 50 crossing downwards on the 200 is not a positive sign but is it already a bearish cross no it isn't over till it's over, guys, in my opinion. You know, um, if we would need to predict when that could happen, you know, if we if we, if we would follow this trajectory, like this, this kind of a decline of the green line, and then if we would also draw the red line a little bit like, like this, 
Yeah, that then uh, you can play around with this, of course, and it will never happen like that. But that could be then the 24th of June that these lines will cross. If the price is going to fall steeply today, yeah, it can even go like this. Then it could be uh, the 4th of June. It can all happen, but we don't know. It can also curl up again. It's all possible. We saw it before what I showed you in 2013. So that's one I'm going to look into very closely. If we cross that line, that would be one of the confirmations that we are in a bear market, guys. So let's jump in. Boom. The next one. This one we already looked at. We said 25th around that area. We dip every time. Again, we did. It's now the 28th. It's the last Friday of the month. So that's today that again all those futures and all that uh, stuff is going to be um, expiring which means the last Friday of the month we can see volatility that can go down or up let's see if we go down it's nothing strange here one two three four five six seven days we were at the bottom now one two three four five maybe another day we are at the bottom before we see the reversal i'm still not freaking out guys not freaking out bam what i want to show with you is very important because everyone has ideas if you go to trading view you can see them people share their ideas it's millions of ideas that people think that could happen to bitcoin they all think that is going to happen or this is going to happen are we going to 17k or to 50k or to 2000k these are all ideas you should be educating yourself a little bit more on the charts to make your own idea but i just want to show you these are ideas or you look at these ideas and you start to freak out or zoom out or you trade and if you trade for example with our bam bam indicator um you just wait for triple confirmations to buy this was the long flag over there for example i'm going to give an example the long flag first confirmation we close above the yellow stepping line second confirmation the bam bam is crossing that white line third confirmation the yellow is turning into green that is then the fourth confirmation a green dot the fifth confirmation and that is when you take the trade if you would have taken that trade you would have made uh, let's say you would get out here you would have made seven percent if you would have leveraged traded that when leverage of 10 you would have made 70 percent and yes, you have, would have made that 70% while the market is going down. You see, we are going down, 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 and still you made that 70%. And you can also short, and you can make that uh, the profit also with the short. So for me, if the market moves, it's also beautiful to trade. That is the way I multiply my Bitcoins. And why do I multiply my Bitcoins? That's the biggest question. Why do you multiply your Bitcoins? We all multiply our Bitcoins because we believe at the end, Bitcoin will be going up. But I will come back to that later. Bam, here, another very cool idea. This idea is by Lisa. You know that I like uh, Lisa's charting. She is telling a lot of numbers in this chart. Pause the video and check them. And she is saying, yeah, maybe we will go again here uh, on the point E to 30K, and then we go up again to 40K, maybe 42K, and again, these are all patterns, these are all human ideas. And I think it needs to be very clear now to you that human ideas are made by us. We make these ideas, we form these. Everybody has an opinion. But the beautiful part of all of this all these upswings, downswings, going up, going down, going up, going down, going up, going down, going up, and down, and up, and down, and up, and down. We make it rid them out. All that stuff can freak you out a lot. But if you're in the back of your mind, you will have the same idea like all those traders, all of them, Lisa or MM Crypto or Call the Moon or Da Vinci, all of the influencers, yes, they also see the movement in Bitcoin, but they all all of them also believe in the bigger picture of Bitcoin. And the bigger picture of Bitcoin, guys, is not these small movements. The bigger picture of Bitcoin, guys, is BAM, this one. This is stock to flow created by Plan B. This is the bigger picture. The bigger picture we see over here, you know, this is 2017 room. We saw also, look, up and down, up and down, up and down and up. And we can see this also here, up and down, up and down. We didn't surpass this blue line on the top yet. That is about 100K. Every bull run, we have been above that blue line at the top. This is not the top. The top should be above 100K. And this bigger picture is the picture we all believe in. 
it will go to 100k and in the long term it will even go to a million dollar so yes we can freak out about these small movements here and there every day which is healthy because you want to multiply your bitcoins but also understand that multiplying your bitcoins happens by trading so make part of the movement or just huddle for the long term and if you huddle for the long term this means nobody has ever lost any value if you kept your bitcoins longer than four years wherever you have bought bitcoin here four years later you will be in profit here at the top in 2013 if you would have bought there four years later 2017 you would have been in profit if you would have bought at the top in 2017 four years later in 2021 you are in profit if you would buy the top in 2021 four years later in 2025 you will again be in profit this is the logarithmic growth curve of Bitcoin. We only have 21 million Bitcoins. The demand is growing tremendously and the offer is going to stay the same. This is Bitcoin. And bam, this is the last shot. And you can't see that now because my face is in front of it. And I'm going to save my video now by doing this. <laughs> oh my God, did he? So again, guys, if you look at this model, you can see that we are now here undervalued. We should be in red during a bull run. If we come into the huge red peaks like we've seen during the other bull runs over there, this was like uh, times 4.3, times 4.3, this one was times 2.9, almost 3. We haven't seen that during this bull run, guys. We still need to go up in that red area to see the end of the bull run. And that is why I believe these are all small dips and we must not freak out. And even better, that is why I make the videos like this, because I don't want you to freak out. And I think we need to stay calm and just observe the charts, see what is happening, wait for the confirmations. And, and if there is a confirmation of the bear time, we will handle like that. And that would be positive because the glass is always half full. Because if we go into a bear time, we will accumulate more Bitcoins. Because in four years again, you will be in profit. I still don't see a barrier this time. I still see that we need to go bullish. But I just want to give my opinion about everything that is happening at the moment. Guys, that was everything for today. I hope you really enjoyed this short TA video. Uh, if you did enjoy the video, give it a thumbs up. Share it with your friends and family. Subscribe to the channel. Hit the notification bell. And please, please, please leave a comment as I love to hear your comment. What do you think about the charts? Do you think we are bullish? Do you think we are bearish? Do you think we go into a long-term bear year again? Or do you think, nah, this is just a small uh, dip and we are going to reverse? Let me know down below in the comments because i love to respond to those comments uh, thanks for watching hope you enjoyed it see you later today or tomorrow i wish you an amazing friday and also a beautiful weekend already ahead um, and do try to zoom out in bitcoin and zoom in at life yes try to enjoy every single minute of the day as that is exactly what life should be about thanks for watching i wish you an amazing day and weekend and see you tomorrow again bam